New at 5, a historic Detroit church is getting a half million dollar renovation. But it's not just the building getting a makeover. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl joining us live with the story. Ronnie. Yeah, this renovation project is about so much more than just sprucing up an aging building. It's about changing lives. The church at the corner of Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and Trumbull Avenue has been serving the people in this neighborhood for more than 100 years. We are a historic church, a historic building that's changing the narrative of what it means to be old in Detroit. Majestic in its grandeur, modern in its mission. We are building a new uh, early childhood center that's part of a family center, including HIV testing, uh, early childhood center, food programs, urban farm project, and all sorts of things to help families right here in our city. Now named Spirit of Hope, the church has been a beacon to those in need. I'm a miracle. Vicki Holenfield found her second chance here, a gift she wants to pass along to her two-year-old granddaughter, Storm. <laughs> she will be one of the first students at the Early Childhood Center. I want her to be peaceful and learn how to love everybody. From the wiring to the plumbing, everything had to be updated, and it cost money, a lot of money. This is a $530,000 project. We're working with uh, Matrix Human Services, THM Construction, and the Episcopal Diocese of Michigan to make this happen. Construction is nearing completion, and soon dreams will blossom into reality for generations to come. To have them in a safe space, a space where they feel comfortable, where they can be encouraged to be their best and not worry about the other things of the world will be great. It would be great. I have volunteered in the past down at the Spirit of Hope, and I can tell you they are making a big difference in that neighborhood. I love the urban farm there. They have made a lot of progress on this project, yet more work is needed. Actually, more money is needed. They still need to raise about $90,000 to make sure the doors open in the fall. So if you can help, we'll put some information on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting live, Ronnie Dahl, back to you. Good to see them making a difference in the community, so hopefully they'll raise that money.